Wow, I'm sorry for dis for that for that little disruption. It was my neighbors and I was supposed to be clapping for the NHS and I forgot. So, I've just been outside dressed as Supergirl in front of all my neighbors clapping for the NHS and I think it really cheered up some of the old people. <laughs> So I'm back and we're going to carry on. Okay, so here we go. So where were we? Where were we? We were doing breathing and you were doing so well as well. So holding your hands like this, breathing in, inside out hands and breathe out. Breathe in, inside out hands, breathe out. And then from here, we're going to roll our bellies round and round. Nice deep breaths because we're not moving about as much as we usually are. We're all getting holed up in our houses. Hopefully you're managing to go out for your daily walk. I've been really enjoying it. and I've, I even saw a whale in the sea the other day. I was very excited and a red squirrel. Let's go the other way. What's your favourite animal? Can you think? I don't know what my favourite animal is. I quite like tigers. I've been watching this tiger programme. Maybe your mums and dads have been watching it. It's very funny. Well, not funny, but I'm not going to go into that. Let's be butterflies. Put your feet together, interlace your fingers around your toes, and begin to flap your butterfly wings. And think inside yourself, if you were a butterfly, what colour would you be? I'm going to be red. Today, red makes you feel safe. And that's what, what I want to feel today. Think about how, how do you want to feel today? And it's okay to feel sad or scared. And it's okay to feel happy when some people are feeling sad. Just think about how you feel and let it go. It's not who you are. Who you are is absolutely perfect. Now I think we're ready to do some sun salutations. What about you? So we're gonna stand up. And from here, we're gonna stretch up high to touch the sky and stretch down low to touch your toes. Take one leg back and we're gonna be road runners and go meet me from your road runners. Push up and become doggies and see if you can wag your tails. Woo, 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 woo. And then lift one leg all the way up to the sky. Bring it back down another leg all the way up to the sky. Bring it back down, down onto your hands and knees, happy cats, meow, and sad cats, meow, happy cats, meow, sad cats, meow, and then push back up, become doggies, wag your tails, woof, 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 woof. and road runners again, beat me, <laughs> and from there come all the way up high, touch the sky, all the way down low, touch your toes, Wow, well done. Now I think it's time to do some power yoga. Are you ready? Let's get out your powerful muscles. Oh my goodness, you're looking good today, guys. So from our powerful muscles, let's do our power yoga. So stretch up high, touch your sky. Stretch down low, touch your toes. Hands on the ground, and let's even jump your feet back. Wow, you guys are good. Down onto your tummies. And then you're going to be upward facing down. Downward facing dogs and wag your tails again. Woohoo! Look forwards, bend your knees, jump in between your hands, straighten your legs. Can you touch your toes? Oh, well done. Come all the way up high, touch the sky. How powerful are your muscles today? My goodness, you're fabulous. So I think we're ready to do another one. One that, in, that has a pose called the fierce pose in it. It's not fierce at all though. Don't worry. I sometimes call it the strange shaped chair because it looks a bit more like a strange shaped chair when I teach children. So let's go for that. Let's get some warriors in the middle. And warriors make you feel strong. So are you ready? I'll look, I'm going to face this way now. You know, I'll try and change sides, keep it going, like keep it interesting. Okay, so from here, come into strange shaped chair. Bend your knees, stretch your arms up to the sky. And then fold forwards, hands on the ground. Are you ready? Jump your feet back. Wow. Down onto your tummies. Upward facing dogs. Downward facing dogs. And then take one foot in between your hands. Bend your front knee back like straight. Coming up into warrior one. And then we're going to bend our knees. Open up our arms. Look on up front arm. 
Warrior 2. But are you ready to try Warrior 3 with me? It's a tricky wee number. Here we go. Lift up that back leg. Woohoo! Warrior 3, how are you getting on? Wow. Put your hands at either side of that foot. Put both feet back. Come down onto your tummies. Upward facing dogs. Downward facing dogs. Let's get your other foot in between your hands. Bend your front knee back, leg straight. Warrior one. I'm going to go the other way. Warrior two. And are you ready for warrior three? Yeah. Warrior three. See if you can balance. Oh, how wobbly are you today? And then hands at either side of that foot. Both feet back. Down onto your tummies. Upward facing dogs. Downward facing dogs. And look forwards. Bend your knees. Jump in between your hands. Straighten your legs, touch your toes, and then bend your knees, come back up into fierce pose, or friendship chair, whatever you want to call it, it's fine. And now, we're ready for our story, okay? And I thought we're going to start, because it's the first online children's story, I'm going to do one of my golden oldies, one of my favourites that my yogis love. It's the boy who lost his belly button. Have you got a belly button? I do, I'm not going to show you mine though. You're okay. So, we're going to start off. One day, there was a little boy and he was fast asleep in his bed. So see if you can curl up. Curl up nice and fast asleep in your beds. <sighs> Breathe nice and deep. And then, have a nice big yawn and a stretch. <sighs> mm. This little boy woke up and he lost his belly button. Where's my belly button gone? I don't know. Oh my goodness me. I think it calls for us superheroes to find this belly button. Are you ready? Are you ready to take on this task and find the little boy's belly button? I am and I know you are too. Let's go. So, I think the first thing we do is head down to the garden, to the big tree where the magic bird lives. So to be a tree, you can put your foot at your ankle or at your calf. Oh, you can go wild and have it at your, at your thigh. Or some of you might even want to be a half lotus. Whatever you want to be. Hands to your heart centers and arms all the way up to the sky. So concentrate on a spot in front of you. Try not to wobble. Very good. You can put your tongue to the top of your mouth. It helps you balance. Let's try the other side. So your foot's either at your ankle, at your calf, at your thigh, or your half lotus. Hands to your heart center. Arms all the way up to the sky. Smooth out your breath. Try not to wobble. Is there any adults in the room wobbling? Try not to look at them, it'll put you off. Okay, now let's go and climb up the tree and find the magic bird because I've heard that he knows more than he's making, making on he does. So we're going to try and do opposite elbow, opposite knee, climb up this big tree. Very good. Now we've met the magic bird, and to be a magic bird, it's a bit like being a superhero, guys. You're going to be strong and steady. Put one hand out to reach back, hold on to your other, hold on to your foot, and see if you can balance. So concentrate on a spot in front of you. Nice deep breaths, try not to wobble. Be a strong and steady superhero or magic bird. And let's do the other side. So lift up your other arm, bend that knee. Coming forwards, nice deep breaths. Don't look at any wobblers in the room. Yes, there's always one, is there? Very good. Now the magic bird has told us that he heard that one of the animals in the jungle has taken the little boy's belly button. It's very not good. So we need to try and get to the jungle. So let's see if the magic elf can lend us some of his magic fairy dust to get to the jungle. Where does the magic elf live? 
Some of you know, I can hear you. Yes, he lives amongst the lotus flowers. So to be a lotus flower, you're gonna sit like this, arms down the middle, lift your, put your arms underneath your legs, and let's see if you can balance. Wow, well done, and don't worry if you're wobbling around. It's good fun anyway, isn't it? Yes. So the magic elf lives amongst the lotus flowers, so it's time for us to be magic elves. So to be a magic elf, put one leg in front of the other. Excuse my baggy leggings, I'm doing a very busy today. And you're gonna put your hands behind your back. You're either holding your elbows or palms together and fold over your legs. Wow. Oh, hello. Come all the way back up. Let's do the other side. So fold over your other leg now. Wow, oh, hello there. Very good. So the magic elf has got some magic fairy dust. Are you ready to blow it three times to magic us to the jungle? I am. Okay, let's go. Here we go. Three times. Big breaths, okay? One, two, three. Now we have magicked ourselves all the way to the jungle. Okay, so we need to check out what animal has this little boy's belly button. First of all, I think we need to go and see the hairy wee animals that live in the trees. Who's the hairy wee animals that live in the trees? Yes, no, it's not your dad's. No, it's a monkey. Are you ready to play monkeys with me? Here we go. And you can even make monkey noises. Go. I've been really scaring my neighbors recently. Now, let's check the monkey's belly button. Oh my goodness. It's definitely not the little boys, because little boys don't have brown hairy belly buttons. Well, most of them don't. So, it's not the monkeys. Let's go and ask the monkeys' friends, the gorillas. Are you ready to be a gorilla? So to be a gorilla, we're gonna go, oh! I know they're very big. <laughs> now, let's check the gorilla's belly button. So the gorilla's belly button, it's big, black and hairy. Little boys don't have big, black, hairy belly buttons, do they? No. So, we need to go and figure out who else to go for. But, do you know what? We've woken up all that noise that we just made. We've woken up the king of the jungle. Who's the king of the jungle now? Hmm? Yeah? The lion, did you say? The lion? Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. So let's get onto our knees. And to be a lion, your hands up to your faces. Eyes open wide. Mouth open wide. Tongue out as far as you can. And then we're gonna go, ah! That wasn't loud enough. You need to do that again, okay? Uh, hands up to your faces. Eyes open wide. Mouth open wide. Tongue out as far as you can. And then we're gonna go, ah! Very good. Oh, it's good for getting out all that frustrations that we've got, isn't it? check the lion's belly button. Mm -mm. They don't have it, it's too airy. What about checking the baby lions? They don't make any noise at all. Do you think you can manage to make no noise at all? Not even a squeak? Let's see, let's, let's check how good you are at that. So no noise, hands up to your faces. Eyes open wide, mouth open wide, tongue out as far as you can. What's that? Well done, you guys are fantastic. Check the baby lion's belly button. Mm -mm. That's not a little boy's belly button, is it? 
Mm -mm, no. So I can see, remember earlier, I was telling you what I th think my favorite animal is. The tiger, well, just gorgeous now. It's normally a black panther. I quite like that, they're quite nice, aren't they? Now, so to be a tiger, you're gonna see if you can try and touch your head with your foot. Now look how rubbish I am at it. And the thing is, with yoga, it's not about how great you look in the mat. It's about just really accepting who you are and where you are. And I'm just fine where I'm at. Don't you worry. Let's try your other leg. Now if you can touch your head, that is absolutely fantastic. And if you can, if you look like an old wifey like me, which I am, by the way, I am a grandma, and I love my Hallie baby, my granddaughter Hallia. I hope you're watching. Hello, Hallia. Now, that's fabulous. You're all amazing tigers. Mm. Now, to be a tiger, we've been tigers. Let's check this belly button. Hmm, it's a bit stripey. Little boys don't have stripey belly buttons, do they? Mm -mm -mm. No. So, where do we go from here? I can hear another animal coming through the jungle. Can you hear it? It's making a sound. What animal is that? And no, it's not your mom opening a can of a uh, thing of coke. It's not. No, it is a cobra snake. Now, to be a cobra or a snake. You come down onto your tummy. So I'll move onto my yoga mat. It's a bit silly. Rolling about here. Now, come onto your tummies. Hands underneath your shoulders. And then push up and go. Come all the way back down and again push up. Stretch your arm all the way over. Oh, it disappeared. A 
that have come all the way back up. Hiya. Now let's check the zebra's belly button. It's black and white and stripy. Zebras don't have black and white stripy belly buttons. No, zebras do, but little boys don't. We're not doing very well here, guys, are we? We have not found this little boy's belly button. He's going to be devastated and we're not be... We're going to come back failed, failed superheroes and we are good superheroes. Come on, let's get, let's up our game here. Now I've heard a little, a little whisper through the jungle. You know how it goes, through the grapevine. That there's an animal down by the river that's been a little bit quiet. Okay, let's go and check if he knows what's going on. Let's take our bicycles and get down there. It'll be quicker. Okay, so lying on your backs. And you're gonna slowly cycle up the very steep hill. You're almost at the top of the hill. We're gonna go down faster, faster, faster. Wow, yay! Oh, now we've got there. So let's go down to the river. We're gonna go under the bridge. So let's just lift up and make a bridge shape with our bodies. There we go. Underneath the bridge is some little froggies playing. My daughter, my youngest daughter, Kaya, she's 18, she's not that young, can do this pose. I can't. So you're going to come down onto your tummy. See if you can do it, the frog pose. You get your feet, hold onto the tops of your feet, and you've got to try and push the soles of your feet down so they're touching the floor at the side of your body. Wow, it's a big stretch. Now, and don't worry if you can't do it. I can't either. I'm just having fun. So the frogs are too busy playing. They don't look that you'd notice a belly button on a frog. So I think we're I think we would have heard by now if it was one of the frogs. But I can hear, I can see there's a crocodile over there. And he's being very shifty looking. Yeah? So let's be crocodiles and check out his belly button. If he has one or not. So take your arms up over your head and we're going to go snap, snap, snap and then roll all the way over. Snap, snap, snap. Roll one way, snap, snap, snap and you can keep rolling. It's called bundle rolls. It's kundalini yoga. It calms you down. So you're going to roll about, have fun. It actually balances your electromagnetic field. So that is your aura, your energy, guys. Now, let's check out our belly buttons. Wait a minute. This crocodile's got a big pink belly button. That's just weird. Crocodiles don't have big pink belly buttons, do they? What's going on here? Crocodiles shouldn't have belly buttons either, should they? Because they hatch out of eggs. Mm-hmm. So, Mr. Crocodile, what have you, what have you been up to? And he's like, oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. I borrowed the belly button, trying to do a good thing. I took the belly button from the little boy in the middle of the night, and my plan was to take it to the river, wash out all the fluff from his belly button, pop it back in before he noticed. I was just trying to help. Now, do you know what? We should never at borrow something without asking. But his heart was in the right place. So we're going to forgive him because you should always forgive people. Well, not, well, you know, anyway, I'm not going to go into big details. But this crocodile, he was trying to do well. And he said, sorry, he didn't mean to. And the boy has got a shiny, shiny, unfluffy belly button now. So let's just give the crocodile a hug and give the little boy a hug. And let's celebrate by having a yoga snack. Now, some of you guys who've never done this with, with me before have never done yoga snacks before. Now, normally, we're sitting in a big circle with loads of people and we all, all take it in turns. And we put legs out in front of us and we're supposed to all tell us each other, one at a time, what we're going to have for a yoga snack. And then we all pat it into the yoga pipe. But it's only me and you and the people in your room. So you're going to pat into your yoga pile what food you feel like today what's your favorite food because do you know what just now we can't get our favorite foods in the supermarket it's difficult to even get to the supermarket because we've got to stay in our homes 
So what food do you really want? And think about how tasty it is and how happy you feel when you have it. Yeah? So let's eat it up. Mmm. Brush your teeth. How shiny are your teeth? You're looking lovely. Mm, yes, you're looking lovely. No, it's very getting very late at night though, chap. So we need to head home. So what we need to do is look up to the sky and see that the crescent moon's out. So let's do one of my favourite poses. This is a lovely stretch. Put one oh, on one knee. Bend your knee. Stretch your arms all the way up the sky. Make your body a bendy shape like a banana. Remember to breathe. Nice deep breaths. Very good. Let's do the other side. Very good. Stretching all the way up high. Nice deep breaths. And then releasing. It's time for you all to be candles for me. So if you can, you are either going to just pop your legs up to the sky like this, or you can push down with your elbows and come up into shoulder stand. Oh, cha, I didn't, I forgot that I've got a huge scar on my back. <laughs> Ow. Or you can put your legs up the wall and rest there. Okay? So whatever feels right for you. Okay? So what you're going to do is stay up near your candles and here I come to light them. Oh, I'm lighting all your candles. Remember and wiggle your toes when I light them. Very good. Now you've got burning candles. It's time for you to blow them out, okay? When I count to three. One, two, three. <sighs> blow out your candles and then slowly come back up. Okay, so now it's time for relaxation. So get your blanket, get your pillow, get nice and cosy and comfy. You're going to lie down. If you're with your mums and dads, you can cuddle in with them. It's very nice to do. Now, get nice and comfy, lying down. I'm going to put my, I'm going to put my slippers on, my cosy socks. Yeah, I'm going to get comfy with you. So I'm going to tell you a little story. And this one today, is called the wishing fish because I think just now we all need to be able to make a wish. Yeah? Okay. So close your eyes. Be very still. And imagine you're lying by the river and the sun is setting over the river and the sky is filled with pinks and oranges. The water is shimmering like a thousand tiny lights. Everything around you is so still. You feel very calm and peaceful. As you breathe in, enjoy this deep feeling of peace moving through your entire body. Feel your feet becoming still. Feel your chest and tummy becoming still. Feel your arms becoming still and feel your head becoming still. You're completely still as you sit peacefully by the riverbank. All of a sudden, an enormous multicolored fish jumps out of the water and starts to speak. I am a wishing fish. What do you wish for? Go and tell the fish your wish. You may wish for whatever you maybe want. You would like to be. You could be a king in a castle or a wizard with magic powers. Or maybe you'd like to fly. Or maybe you'd just like to go to school and see your friends again. Whatever is your wish, tell the fish. And as soon as you've made your wish, he replies. Your wish is granted. And off he jumps back into the shimmering river. Be very still and enjoy your wish. How do you feel? Happy? Peaceful? Sit peacefully by the river bank, dreaming of how wonderful your life would be if this wish came true. 
And now, when you're ready, wiggle your fingers and your toes, have a big stretch and open your eyes. So come and sit up nice and tall. You're gonna hold your fingers like this. I'm gonna walk down our fingers with our thumbs. We've got different sounds for each finger. We're gonna go sa, ta, na, ma. Sa, ta, na, ma. Put your hands to your heart centers and we're gonna end today's yoga with an om, okay? Here we go. Oh. Namaste. I'll see you in your next adventure. Lots of love.